Hey, let's discover what you'll get from taking this course. Overall, the goal of the course is to get you to master React hooks. Hooks are a huge update to React that released in late 2018, and they're the future of the framework. So it's crucial to learn how to write React code with hooks if your goal is to become a web developer. Overall, the course has three main goals, and that is to answer three overall questions. One, what are hooks? Two, how do hooks work under the hood? And three, why were hooks introduced to React? Altogether, I believe a full exploration of these three questions will give you a thorough understanding of the new hooks API. The exploration of questions two and three in particular of how hooks work and why hooks were introduced are ones that I think make this course journey unique. The intention is that you not only know how to use hooks, but understand how they really work beneath the surface layer and that you grasp the motivation behind the update and feature overall. This is going to give you the foundation you need to build React applications with hooks long into the future. In the course journey, you're going to start with that initial question. What are hooks? In section one, you're going to dive into React code using hooks right away. So that way you start seeing firsthand what the code for hooks really looks like. As you're coding hooks, you're going to be building this application called Home. Home can act as the home page for your browser. It's a collection of useful widgets, like a custom search bar, a task list, and a gallery of your favorite pictures. Even more, a random joke, the latest hacker news, and additional things. This project has enough variety to it to present enough use cases for the majority of out-of-the-box React hooks, as well as their unique coding hurdles. While building this project, you're going to focus on the use state and use effect hook to begin with. These fundamental hooks are the first ones you'll need to start replacing your class-based React components. Use state allows you to apply local state to a function component, and the use effect hook allows you to apply effects like intervals and data fetching. These two hooks have a very straightforward API, but there's quite a few unique catches with how to use them properly based on what functionality that you need. So we're certainly going to explore those tricky situations. Once you've written quite a bit of code with hooks, you're going to transition to focus on main question two of how do hooks work under the hood? In section two, you'll pull the curtain back and look at how the React engine handles hooks. You'll learn how it uses hooks to add state effects and more to components amidst its overall goal of outputting the representation of an application. You'll also look into the use state hook in particular as seeing the inner workings of use state will give you insight into the approach React has taken with hooks overall. On this theme of how hooks work, in section three, you're gonna to continue to explore some of the interesting and odd situations you can get in, depending on the JavaScript functionality you want to apply with hooks. After a thorough look at how hooks work, in section four, you're gonna have the chance to reflect and explore on that final question of why hooks were introduced to React why there was this huge update to an already well-established and widely used framework. With the context of what hooks are and how hooks work, you'll be able to see why the creators of React felt that it was a better mental model overall for working with React functionality than the previous class-based paradigm. This is not the end of the course though, as in the final and fifth section, you're gonna build a second React app called Reaction. And Reaction is a multi-user application that allows you to post public messages on a wall. And then other users can react to those messages with emojis. While building this application, you'll dive even more deeply into hooks, covering more advanced out-of-the-box hooks and seeing more of the reasons why they were introduced to React in the first place. Once you've completed the reaction application, you will have made your way to the end of the course. By then, you'll have gained a literacy of what hooks are a knowledge of how they work under the hood, and an understanding of why there's such an exciting change to React. Now, it's important to note that this course is not a complete introduction to React right from the start. Rather, it's a focused introduction to hooks so that you can master React hooks as quick as possible. Now, if you're looking for an introduction to React, I recommend checking out my React and Redux Bootcamp course. This course assumes you're a complete newcomer to React, and I highly recommend it if you're feeling like diving into hooks right away might be too quick for you. All right, within this overall structure, this course is gonna have a bunch of learning resources like coding challenges, presentational videos and articles and more. Okay, so the journey has been laid out and the first step into React code with hooks is right around the corner. So see you in the next one.